SpaceX is trying something no one else has. Over the last year, the company has been using a new type of fuel called deep cryo liquid oxygen. It's similar to the liquid oxygen that other rockets use, but the difference is that deep cryo LOX is super cooled. The advantage is that deep cryo is denser, so you can fit more fuel in the same tank and get a more powerful rocket. But the problem is keeping it super cool. Usually, rocket fuel warms up a bit between the time it takes to fuel and launch. Traditional LOX is chilled to its freezing point, so when it warms up, the liquid evaporates into a gas. Built-in vents relieve pressure by letting the gas escape before launch. But when deep cryo LOX warms up, it doesn't turn directly into a gas. Instead of evaporating, the liquid expands. And if it warms too much, the entire batch must be replaced. You could imagine how quickly this thing could get out of control says Mitchell Walker of Georgia Tech's College of Engineering. SpaceX has to find a safe way to remove any excess liquid while still ensuring there's enough left to reach space. This is a tricky balance, which hasn't come without a few snags. SpaceX's new fuel led to multiple launch delays in 2016, and the explosion in September 2016 was related to the deep cryo causing an unexpected interaction between the oxygen and other rocket components. The idea of deep cryo locks has been around since the 40s. So why is SpaceX the first to try it on a regular basis? If you start putting legs on your rocket and you want to have extra fuel to fly the rocket back to the launch pad, that fuel has to come from somewhere. But what it really comes down to is guts. It requires nerve. People speculate if this is the right choice or if SpaceX will eventually abandon deep cryo locks. Now that they've gone down this path, they need to get the engineering done so they can make it safe. 